From her early introduction to acting as a child, to her surprise dating history, these are the secrets fans don't know about Olivia de Jong. Though de Jong has been acting for years and has many TV shows and films to her name for one so young, it wasn't until she was cast as Priscilla Presley in Baz Luhrmann's Elvis that people really began to notice her. Many people found themselves asking, who is Olivia de Jong? Still considered a relative newcomer by many, there are an awful lot of facts and secrets that fans don't know about this Aussie. Such as, did you even know she was an Aussie? Or that the beginnings of her career began in Australia? De Jong was born in Melbourne, though she was raised in Perth. It was here in Australia that she realized she wanted to start acting. Though she was only a child, her first brush with the acting bug appeared when she became a voice actor at the age of eight. Though she only did voiceover work for a hardware chain on the radio, you can't really be too choosy when you're only eight, can you? By the time she turned 12, she was fully beginning her acting career. As she was still in school at the time, her father would drive her to the nearest city for auditions. Though finding the time to chase her dreams as an actress was difficult during this time, as she was so young. De Jong stuck with it and didn't settle. Thanks to this early start, De Jong's career really began to take off when she was only a teenager. Her first role in a feature film came about in 2014, when she was 16 in The Sisterhood of Night. After this big picture role, she added even more to her filmography. Just one year after her first step into the film world, she landed her first lead role in The Visit, which was directed by none other than M. Night Shyamalan. She followed this film with a turn in horror and better watch out. However, people really began to pay attention to De Jong thanks to her TV roles. In 2019, she began to star in the Netflix show The Society. In many ways, her role as Elle Tompkins in this show was her first memorable role. People began to notice her, and her star began to rise. To this day, many people know her from The Society, if they haven't seen her in Elvis, of course. After The Society, De Jong's career continued to rise thanks to her excellent performance in the HBO Max miniseries The Staircase, which aired in 2022, the same year that Elvis was released. Of course, her role as Priscilla Presley in Elvis is her most known. So many people praised her performance as the iconic performer's fashionable first wife. While De Jong did have quite a career before she landed up on the set of Elvis, she got the job quite remarkably, and this may surprise fans. When asked how she was cast by director Baz Luhrmann, De Jong told the truth. All she did was submit a self-tape of her audition. She had one audition, and that's it. De Jong knows how lucky she was that this audition process was relatively easy. After all, big movies tend to go through weeks, if not months, of auditioning. Some actors are called back multiple times by casting directors. But this is Baz Luhrmann we're talking about. He's never been wrong with this casting, has he? De Jong likely agrees. Before she even got the role of Priscilla Presley, she was a huge fan of the director. When she was younger, she first watched his movie Romeo and Juliet starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. The film became one of her ultimate favorite movies. She loved it so much, she even wrote a school paper about it. There aren't many people who can say they adored Baz Luhrmann as a child and then got to star as a lead in one of his films. But De Jong can. After working with Lerman, she still remains in awe of this great director. While De Jong is still young, she's about to be 25, she's had a really interesting, successful career so far. It's impressive! Throughout her career, De Jong hasn't just had success on screen with her roles, she's also managed to make some great friends along the way. Just look at the friendship between her and her The Society co-star, Christine Froseth. Froseth, a Norwegian actress, and De Jong have become close friends since starring in their hit Netflix TV drama in 2019. The two didn't know each other before they started working together, but quickly they hit it off and became true friends. Unfortunately, the two didn't get to work together for long, as Netflix canceled the society when the COVID-19 pandemic interrupted their filming. As many fans loved this show, it was a real bummer for many, not just De Jong and Froseth. The Society isn't the only production De Jong was a part of that was affected by the pandemic. Elvis was too! Remember when Tom Hanks announced he had gotten the virus? That was right around the time production was getting underway with the movie. The film, which was filming in Queensland, was momentarily put on hold when Hanks revealed his positive COVID test in 2020. 
De Jong and everyone else involved with the movie had to quarantine before eventually returning to set. When asked by Vogue about how it felt to have to deal with more than one of her productions being affected by the pandemic, a young De Jong had a wise answer. She said, It's so up in the air all the time, and the industry shifts and the world shifts. Right now is an example of that. I try and take it three months at a time. So I plan and then just let the rest go by the wayside. Unlike the society, Elvis didn't completely shut down, and instead went on to become a popular, critically acclaimed movie nominated for eight Oscars. De Jong's role as Priscilla Presley was touted by fans and critics alike. But rather interestingly, she didn't even know Priscilla before she began acting as her. De Jong and Priscilla Presley didn't officially meet until after De Jong had completed production on Elvis. As filming had fully wrapped when the two finally met face to face, De Jong couldn't do anything about her performance if she wanted to change things up. Luckily, many loved her portrayal of Priscilla, even the real woman herself. About De Jong's portrayal of her, Priscilla said, I thought she did a really, really nice job. I was pleasantly surprised. Even though De Jong didn't have the chance to really get to know Priscilla herself before portraying her, she didn't let this little fact stop her from doing her own research. De Jong fully immersed herself in the history of who Priscilla was and what her relationship was like with Elvis Presley. As a result, De Jong was able to see the different ways people saw Priscilla, both good and bad. With this research, she was able to create her own version of Priscilla that Priscilla herself appreciated. As you can see, De Jong has a history of making good impressions in her career. From Lerman's hire of her after one audition, to Priscilla's ready acceptance of her portrayal of her. Her friendship with her The Society co-star Froseth also shows this, which leads us to perhaps the one major thing that many fans don't know about Olivia de Jong, her relationship with another co-star of hers. Yes, we're talking about the one and only Elvis, Austin Butler. If you're a fan of pop culture, you'll remember that Butler broke up with his longtime girlfriend of nine years, Vanessa Hudgens, in 2020, when he was filming Elvis. Immediately after this news broke, many people saw Butler and De Jong around together, going to movies, going out to dinner, and seeming a bit romantic. From the beginning of 2020 to November, Butler and De Jong were seen out and about together. It sure looked like they were a couple. However, even though many fans and entertainment websites say that they dated during 2020, neither Butler nor De Jong ever talked about their relationship. So there's no way to officially know what went down between the two. They did make headlines back then, simply because fans were too stunned that Butler had broken up with his longtime girlfriend Hudgens, and then seemingly moved on quickly with De Jong. But as the two seem to be friendly still, and have never said anything bad about each other, we likely will never know about their fling in 2020. So from her rumored relationship with Austin Butler, to the beginning of her acting career at age 12, these were the secrets that fans didn't know about Olivia De Jong, 